In early versions of the Old Testament, there's a passage on Moses introducing his Moorish or Ethiopian wife to his sister Miriam and his brother Aaron. Miriam and Aaron do not accept Moses' black bride and are punished for that by God. Art historian Elizabeth McGrath shows that Jordan's painting refers to this biblical passage. Normally Moses, there are pictures, many pictures of Moses, and he's pointing to the Ten Commandments which he's holding. But here, by contrast, they're in complete darkness. My first impression was that Moses is inviting us to look behind him, not at his tablets of the law, but to look behind at the person he's shielding and protecting. Her expression is very interesting. She's both slightly amused but also bemused by this, by what's happening. She's slightly annoyed as well, as well she should be. It seems like he's doing something which is very modern and liberal and something which is almost incredible in a painting of the 17th century, that he's asking us to accept his Ethiopian wife. That's what the picture's about. It's a unique um, subject. In fact, there is no other painting of this particular subject known in the history of art. Moses' wife is known in the Bible as Zipporah. She's usually portrayed as a European woman, but in early Christian sources, Moses had another wife, an Ethiopian. Moses' bigamy didn't suit the church. In later translations of the Bible, Moses' two wives were merged into one, Zipporah. The black wife disappeared into the background. Jordan's shown here in a self-portrait was a Calvinist and an avid reader. He was most likely aware of the early Christian story about the second Ethiopian wife. Jordan's is a very, um, an artist who loves to interact with the viewer. He, he takes stories and he sometimes turns them right round. So something that would have been presented as just a narrative scene with various figures standing, he turns it round and makes the principal character look at us. Moses is saying to us, he's not, he doesn't care about what Aaron and the relevance of Aaron and Miriam. He's using the viewer's knowledge of this story to say, you must accept my Ethiopian wife whom God has approved because in the biblical story God approves and shows his disapproval of their anger against Moses um, by, by giving Miriam leprosy.